Welcome back everybody. In this question, we're told that a rational expression simplifies to two x minus three over x plus three. We have to give two examples of such rational expressions where the restrictions are x cannot equal negative three and x cannot equal two over three. So we're told that a rational expression simplifies to two x minus three over x plus three. So what does that mean when they say it simplifies to that? Well, what it means is that there were potential brackets before that were the same, that canceled out. And there could have been multiple brackets. So the original rational expression could have been a higher degree in the numerator and denominator than the one we are given. It's just after you factor all the brackets, um, all the brackets crossed out, all the common brackets crossed out, and it's simplified to 2x minus 3 over x plus 3. And then we're told that this rational expression has these restrictions. So x cannot equal negative 3, and then x cannot equal 2 over 3. Well, notice in this case that this x cannot equal negative 3. It's already taken care of in the simplified rational expression because we could see here clearly x cannot equal negative 3 because of this factor in the denominator. So we don't necessarily have to worry about this one, but this one here, x cannot equal 2 over 3. Notice that none of these um, factors here give us this. There's no factor in the denominator. Actually, we wouldn't even care about this factor in the numerator because it's always factors in the denominator that give us the restriction. So with this restriction here, we can tell that something had to cross out. There was some kind of bracket before that had to cross out. And basically, when we took this factor here that crossed out, and we said it can't equal zero, it's simplified to this. So we're sort of going backwards now. So we know that there was one other factor that crossed out. So how can we get that factor? Well, we got to work backwards. So now, so for example, for this one, the negative three we bring over, it means x plus three cannot equal zero. And notice that this x plus three is already this factor here. So basically what we have to do is we have to bring everything over to the uh, left side with the x. But usually we don't have any fractions in the factors. So what we have to do here is we have to multiply both sides by three to get rid of this denominator. And when we do that, we would end up with three x cannot equal two. So 3x cannot equal 2 is the same as x cannot equal 2 over 3, right? Because we're multiplying both sides by 3. And that got rid of this denominator. The 3s cancel out. And then we can bring the 2 over. And we end up with that there. So we know that 3x minus 2 was the factor before. So we could actually input that here. And it was a factor that had to cross out because we uh, simplified to 2x minus 3 over x plus 3. Right, so 3x minus 2, that is the factor. And then when you make this not equal to 0, like pretend that you were given this and you're finding the restrictions, you would end up with x cannot equal 2 over 3. So we just kind of went backwards. So I showed you how to get it if you go backwards. It's easier if there's just a number, you just bring the number over. But if there's a fraction, it's like you got to cross multiply first or multiply both sides by that denominator. Right? So by 3, the 3s cancel out. And then you can bring that remaining number over and you got your factor that cancels out. All right? So right there, 
that is an example of a rational expression that simplifies to this because those two factors are going to cancel out but has these two restrictions. x cannot equal negative 3 for this factor and x cannot equal 2 over 3 for this factor here. And then um, they say give two examples of such rational expressions. So another example, so this is one example, but another example is maybe we could put a 2 and a 2 there. Right? So it's a different rational expression now because the numerator is going to be different and the denominator is going to be different if we expand everything. Right? Because that 2 is in front now, but ultimately the 2s would cancel out. These 2 would cancel out and you would end up with these 2. So you could really put any numbers here. So you could give as many examples as you want. Another way to do this is you could put maybe a squared here for x plus 3, but then we would have to add an x plus 3 up here. So that's another way. That's another example of a rational expression that simplifies to this and has these restrictions. Because even though this is squared, x still can't equal negative 3. Right? It's not like we would write it twice, we would just write it once because that bracket can't equal negative 3. And then 0 squared is just 0. So the restrictions wouldn't change, and it would still simplify to this because we would take out one of these, take out this, then take out this, and take out that. So it still simplifies to 2x minus 3 over x plus 3. Right? So there's an infinite amount of things that you can do. You could put a 3 here, and then you could put x plus 3 squared, for example. Um, you could even put a 2 here and a 2 there. Right, so two of these would cancel out, but the restriction still stays the same. Or you could put numbers in front, but it has to be the same number in the numerator and denominator. Right, so that's how you can give multiple examples of rational expressions. You just got to make sure that the restrictions stay the same, and it simplifies to the expression that they give you.